You may recall that we were one of the first to get our hands on an 8K monitor. It was from Dell and the thing is a creator's dream thanks to its 100% coverage of the Adobe RGB color space and true 10-bit color. The only problem is that, come on, to be truly creative, especially when you've got a bunch of different design tools and file explorers and web browsers open, you really need a multi-monitor setup. And now, we have just that. Today we're going to be showing off a badass workstation with not one, but two 8K monitors, and we're going to be powering those things with NVIDIA's brand spanking new $9,000 Quadro GV100. And this video is brought to you by Mac Weldon. Mac Weldon makes high quality shirts, socks, wallets, and more. They believe in simple shopping, and if you use code TECHTIPS, you'll get 20% off through the link below. So let's start by having a look at what we would consider to be basically an ultimate workstation at this point. We ended up choosing a very subdued case. So this is the Corsair 600Q. And unlike a lot of the really popular options that are out there right now, it's got no RGB, no tempered glass, no nothing. It's just a plain black box with a nice included fan controller and ample room for any kind of cooling you could possibly want to put in it. For our CPU, we went with obviously the Core i9-7980XE, so that's an 18 core processor, turbos up to 4.2 gigahertz or something crazy like that. We've got 128 gigs of G-Skills Trident Z RGB RAM. Okay, yes, I know it's RGB, but that's not why we chose it. It's just one of the only kits that we had a 128 gig kit of. For our motherboard, we've gone with ASUS's WS-X299 Sage. Now, we could have gone with the WS-C422 Pro SE that we checked out recently, but we determined in our video covering the Xeon W for the 2066 platform that the value just wasn't really there unless you need ECC RAM. And besides, the X299 Sage has seven PCI Express slots, meaning we can put basically anything we'd want in here. For our SSDs, we went with two Samsung 960 Pros, each of them 512 gig running in RAID 0. And then for our power supply, we went with a Seasonic 80 Plus Titanium unit. It's only 750 watts, but quite frankly, that, mm, quite frankly, that's more than we really need anyway. Bringing us to, of course, the centerpiece, the Quadro GV100. We've only got one of these, so we won't be using the NVLink connections that you can use to not only double your processing power, but also share RAM between them. But for the kinds of workloads that we're gonna be able to put on this thing anyway, it's improbable that we will actually need more RAM than one of these cards has. Each of them is equipped with 32 gigabytes of high-speed HBM2 memory to go along with their 5,120 CUDA cores and 640 Tensor cores. So these are designed not just for your sort of traditional workstation usage, but also for AI and deep learning applications. Let's go ahead and get it installed. All right, now that we've got it in, we can see we're gonna be using every single one of the DisplayPort 1.4 outputs on this card because each of our 8K monitors requires two of them. Okay, so while we wait for this to power up, I wanna take you guys for a little tour of our desk here because as you might've noticed, it looks really different from one of our more typical gaming setups because when your focus is productivity, the kind of gear that you're using needs to be a little bit different. So first of all, obviously we'll get to the visuals in a little bit here, is sound. Now gamers might want speakers and the same actually goes for their headphones that accentuate details that are important to gameplay, like say for example, the frequency of footsteps so that they can pick out where opponents are around them. 
Not so for content creators. So these here are Audio Engine's A5 Plus bookshelves. They have a flatter response curve, not quite like you would consider you know, a studio monitor grade response curve, but a flatter response curve and they represent a good value because they can connect directly to your PC, unlike some other monitors that used uh, balanced XLR inputs, for example. Now for audio, again, for the typical gamer, pretty much anything will do. You can actually use your onboard audio, no issues there. But we've gone with a combination from Shit Audio. So yes, that is what they're actually called, I know. So we've got our Amodi 2, this is a DAC, and then we're using a Valhalla 2 amp that should pair really nicely with our Odyssey LCD2s. Now, to be clear, the LCD2s are, especially now that they've been replaced by other models, not necessarily the be-all and end-all of headphones, but what they are is an open-backed design giving a very natural soundstage, and they use planar magnetic drivers, so, to put it in layman's terms, they sound absolutely bitchin'. I mean, this is something else. I, obviously, we've seen one of them before, but this amount of real estate. So, I mean, we're scaled at 300% right now. Come check this out. If I change it to 100%, look how small the cursor is. Look how small the start button is. Like, here, you open a web browser. This is the default window size. <laughs> so, while unlike the early days of monitor resolutions increasing, we don't necessarily get to benefit from it just scaling linearly the amount of desktop real estate that we have, the pixel density though, the fineness of the image is absolutely incredible. So each of these is 7680 by 4320, meaning that we've got a total of 67 million pixels total. And of course it's being driven at 60 Hertz. Like you can see individual feathers moving around. I'm actually impressed. We're running this at full resolution right now. Is this 8K footage, Brandon? Ooh, the computer's definitely feeling the burn. Check this out. 82% CPU usage, but it's not buckling. Not bad. Now that we've got a bigger project loaded up, it is definitely suffering a little bit more. But I think part of that might be a network bottleneck. That's one thing that we're still missing on this particular config, but I think that we could fix pretty easily with a 10 gig card or something along those lines. It is definitely nice to have all this real estate though, like being able to watch at the maximum size of a preview, like what is effectively probably what, like a 720p video as you scrub through it like this. That's pretty incredible. Check this out. We can pick exactly the right moment for a thumbnail without even ever opening it. I could actually watch a video like this. Oh, how did it remove virus again? Okay. Boom, 785 bucks. I gotta say, I do wish there was a way with our building layout to reconfigure our editor's machines so that they can use monitors like this. Cause like all of a sudden you can actually feel the stereo sound where applicable. So like in the game, for example, and it sounds so much more natural than when you have it piped through headphones, even really good ones. But I don't think any kind of extensive renovation like that is on the horizon anytime soon. And neither is an upgrade to dual 8K monitors and A5 pluses for all of our editors anyway. So yeah. Unless of course, we can do it with the help of sponsors like FreshBooks. 
FreshBooks is the small business accounting software that's custom built for how you want to work. It's a simple way, whether you're a freelancer or a small business owner, to be more productive, more organized, and to get paid faster. You can create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds. You can set up online payments with just a couple of clicks. You can see when your client has seen your invoice to put an end to the guessing games, and you can take the whole experience with you on the go. They've got apps for iOS and Android. So for an unrestricted 30 day free trial, go to freshbooks.com slash tech tips and enter Linus tech tips in the how did you hear about us section. So thanks for watching guys. If this video sucked, you know what to do. But if it was awesome, get subscribed, hit that like button or check out the link to where to buy the stuff we featured in the video description. Also linked down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join.